Panzer drone. Panzer drone signal mechanical eye attracts your movements as you approach. The massive bulk of the thing lands in an uncanny air as it hovers effortlessly above the ground. The thing looks ancient. I'm guessing it was under development back when the Apex lab got shut down in 36. After a brief pause, he rolls his eyes and turns away. Some reward. In terms of computing power, my PDA could probably run circles around this thing. The shaman peers barely at the machine, his arms crossed over his chest. Old doesn't mean harmless, kid. When we're talking about tech, it might as well. I'm sure that Molly has a whole warehouse full of drones that could outperform this thing. I don't think so. Milspec is milspec, and this thing was clearly designed for the battlefield. The enormous machine hovers impassively, its turbofan rotors keeping it silently aloft. A small arsenal of heavy weaponry juts out from the, from the seams of its armor plating. Whether we bring this thing along or not is up to you, Analog. I can see advantages either way. She shrugs. Whatever you decide, we'll go along with it. The sound of your approach. Blitz stubs out his cigarette. He gives you a curt nod. Analog. I'd over for your smoke, but that was my last one. How'd that whole Emil situation, Emily situation work out? Turn up anything new? Yeah, well, sort of. It's mostly speculation, truth be told. Uh, so, what's the deal? Is she working with the Azis or what? No, I don't think so, but I do have a new lead. After our talk, I went waiting into the hall. All of the Az technology matrix hubs that I could find. Nothing too deep, don't worry. I didn't want to set off any alarm bells. But I had a hunch that if I poked around long enough, I'd find something that might lead me to Emily. And sure enough, I did. A message from the genuine article herself. Uh, she messaged you? Sure enough, sent me a note. Want to hear what it said? He presses forward without waiting for a response. I'll tell you. The note said, and I quote, Lay off, Blitz. I told you to leave me alone. You've shown Admiral self-control over the past year. Please don't give it up. Give up on it now. I'll be back when I can. If I can. Until then, keep away from me for both of our sakes. So, I found her. And she wants nothing to do with me. Again. No explanations. No apologies. Just a verbal pat on the head. I've shown admirable self-control. Really. She, should, she makes it sound like I'm a toddler or something. So did you lay off like the message said? Hell no, I wasn't gonna stand for that. Where did she get off stealing from me and then acting like it was my fault? I tried to trace the message like any good Decker would. And did you succeed? No. She's good, Analog. Better than I ever thought she was. I couldn't trace the damn thing. I could keep digging, though. I mean, if she noticed me doing it before, I must have been close. Now, before you say anything, I was more discreet this time. I can't be. S I can be subtle if I have to. Nobody noticed what I was doing, and I did find another clue. I hesitate to ask. That's okay, I'll tell you anyway. I found a connection between Emily and Sater Krupp. So, do you think she works for SK then? That she stole the encrypted data from you to give it to them? Well, maybe. I don't know. It's confusing. I was also able to track down some knowledge from some message fragments connecting her to the Shock Wellen Rider. So maybe she was, she, she was a Sater Krupp mole. She got close to me so that she could, I don't know, so she could profit from my decking expertise? Maybe when she told me not to steal that data, she was using reverse psychology. That's gotta be it. She must have wanted me to take it. He frowns, then shakes his head. But then again, maybe she's with the Shockwell and Ryder and she's screwing both the Azis and the SK over. If that's the case, then maybe she was with me because she generally wanted me to be. He pauses for a moment, considering. Then all at once he seems to perk up. His chest puffs out and he nods once decisively. In either case, I should make an effort to find her. I mean, she's playing a dangerous game whether she's with SK or the Shackwell and Ryder. Maybe she's gotten herself in too deep. She might need help. I mean, why else would she send me such a cryptic message? Ah, it wasn't exactly cryptic. Um... Yeah. Message was anything but cryptic. She wants you to stay far, far away. Yeah, that's what she said. But I'll bet that she didn't mean it. She probably want, didn't just didn't want me to work to worry me. Or maybe she said it under duress. I mean, you got to agree that it's worth checking out. Um, 
Forget I said anything. You should go after her. I'm sure that she needs you. You're right, of course. You are absolutely right. Besides, it's not like she can send me a distress call. Her communications are probably being monitored. I'll bet that she spent the whole past year waiting for me to come riding into the rescue. Let's clasp, clasp, claps his hands and then rubs together in excitement. It's that, Chief. You're about to witness an event. When my gum, gung ho personality and legends that legendary skills come together, the whole world stops and takes notice. Um. I'm sure that it does, Blitz. I can't wait to see how this plays out. I bet if I was good at decking, this would be a whole submission. You won't have to wait long. I just know the place to hit. I know just the place to hit. That same as technology data node that I stole the information from in the first place. I already know that I can get past the security, and my gut tells me that I'll find Emily there. Thanks for the encouragement, Chief. I know that this was the right thing to do, of course, and you've helped me to quiet any lingering doubts that I might have had. He nods at you, an expression of supreme confidence on his face. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a damsel in distress to rescue. Okay. Analog, you need something? We should talk about what Apex said. Yeah, I figured as much. Well, what do you want me to say? That I lied to you? That I killed a member of my own team? Yeah, I did both of those things, but I don't regret any of it. Uh, it's okay. I just wanted you to give the opportunity to tell your side of the story. Fair enough. It happened like I said. Hoffman Jack in the hat, Jack in the box. Hoffman Jack in the box out of cover at the worst possible moment. Wolf had his throat torn out by shrapnel and the rest of the team were riddled with bullets as we attempted to fall back. I took three rounds, just like I said. Only one man came out of it unscathed. Fucking Hoffman. We managed to slip away and evade capture. It was no easy feat, Analog, but we did it. All the while, Hoffman was apologizing for what he'd done. He knew how badly he'd screwed up. For my part, I saw red every time I looked at him. But he was a member of the team, and it was my responsibility to get him back across the border. I limped that 50 miles with a through and through in my left calf, and the two rounds buried in my right shoulder. Hoffman carried most of the gear. We'd almost re the, reached the order nice line when we were spotted, not by border authorities, but by a farmer. He saw us, and we saw him. We all froze. I knew that we'd be screwed if he reported us, but I'm pretty good at sizing up sizing people up and I could tell that he wasn't a threat. He reminded me a bit of my dad, actually. A kind old troll with leathery, leathery skin and a long white beard. There wasn't a mean bone in his body. I was sure of it. So I decided to talk him down. I stepped forward and introduced myself and apologized for trespassing in his field. We talked for a while and he promised not to alert the border authorities. He put his hand on my shoulder and he told me that we were doing God's work. He was going to say something else. But I'll never know what it was. Hoffman pulled a put a bullet in his brain. I remember standing there, watching the light go out of this sweet old man's eyes while the blood poured out of the neat round hole in his forehead. And I remember Hoffman saying something about protecting the team. We couldn't take the chance that he was lying, he said. I only have one good memory of that day analog, the sound of Hoffman's windpipe breaking. That strangled little cry that he made as I continued squeezing. I'll carry those with me forever and they'll always make me smile. Whoa, that got dark. <laughs> she nods again, her face expressionless. It was a dark time. It has been ever since, but I don't regret what I did, Analog. Not for a second. Um, you did what you did. It's not my place to judge. That's a cop out, Analog. You're the leader of this team. Of course it's your place to judge. Oh, so now I've got a judge, huh? Um, I think that you did saw what you needed to be done and you, that you did it, despite the fact that it meant killing your fellow soldier. Yeah, I did. I love the KSK, and I love to protect my team. Huffman's ignorance, his ridiculous lust for glory, they destroyed the thing that I loved most. So I destroyed him in turn, even though it meant that I could never go back. What does that say about me? Uh believes says that you belong out here in the shadows believe it or not Iger, you're right where you should be 
She's slowly nods. You're right, I am. I'm so, some level, I think that I've known this for a long time. You're a good man, Analog. One that I'm proud to run with. She straightens. And speaking of which, we should probably get back to it. Yeah, thanks for the talk. The corner of her mouth curls into a smile. Anytime. War stories. What you need, boss? Um, any updates on Alexander? Nothing new. Back when you took on Humanus, you said that you fought in the Night of Rage. I'd like to hear more about that. He nods, then fishes in his jacket pocket for his flask. Alright, boss, we can talk about it. So I already mentioned that Berlin's punks and anarchists joined forces to fight off the racists, right? And after a long bloody fight, we beat them. What I didn't mention is how I figured into all this. I'm an anarchist at heart, always have been, but at the time I, so I fit squarely into the punk camp. I was 32 at the time. Master Camp was still touring. Not as much as we did when we were still ca kids, but we had a following. I guess I was sort of an elder statesman for the scene. When we rallied to fight for the racists, fight the racists, <laughs> our followers came along for the ride. Bunch of young kids, all full of piss and vinegar and the in immortality of youth. I was full of the good old Dragon Slayer spirit, pissed and inching for a fight. And so I led those kids into the fray. They waited into the riot alongside me, yelling and screaming with their fists in the air. I don't remember a whole lot of the fight itself, boss, but I do remember the aftermath. A lot of the kids that followed me had grown up listening to my music. They all had all my attitude analog, but none of them had my magic, and youthful enthusiasm is no defense against a knife or handgun. I left the punk, punk scene for all the reasons I told you, boss, but there was a bigger reason, and I saw it in those kids' broken bodies. The road that I'm on, it leads to the grave. I've got the power to make it a leisurely trip, but no mistake, that's where I'm headed. Those kids tried to follow in my footsteps, and they wound up sprinting in ahead of me instead. Better for me to stay out of the public eye and stick to the shadows. My stint as a role model was ill-advised. Have you put in any thought into what I said earlier? Yeah, boss, I have. It's an interesting idea, but there are risks. I think, I'm think i thinking this, this might not be the best of times to approach him about it. He's the source of my magic, remember? If our discussion turned into an argument, he could take all that magic back in a heartbeat, and then where would we be? Uh... Yeah, from what you've told me about the Dragon Slayer, I don't think you'd like the way you're talking. Since when has he ever encouraged you to tip back down from a fight? You've got a point there, boss. He wouldn't want me to back down, ever. Not even from him. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'll ask the dra Dragon Slayer about shifting priorities, I guess you'd say. Taking on some deserving organization and calling off the hunt for something more impressive than the Firewing. Of course, a fight like that would never really end. I'm never gonna bring down a corp or a public club all on my lonesome. He shrugs, but maybe that's not a bad thing. I'd take, it'd take a lot of the guesswork out of life. I don't know, boss. If you had any, have any thoughts about this, I'd love to hear them. Uh... Why tie yourself to a specific group? I say keep it fluid, stomp out anyone that threatens the flux. Isn't that what Berlin is all about? He cocks his head. Interesting, that's a different approach, but I like it. Hang on a second, I'll ask. He closes his eyes and concentrates. Minutes pass, slowly a smile creeps across his face. Dietrich opens his eyes and turns to face you. Yeah, yeah, I think that he'd like this plan just fine. That was it, that was all it took? The Dragon Slayer, Slayer doesn't mince words, boss. If he didn't like the plan, he'd have told me. Dra Dietrich's grin widens. He looks more at ease than you've ever seen him. Well, boss, I've got myself a plan and a new target to but boot. That's assuming, of course, that any of us makes it through our current predicament alive. You know, Dietrich, now that you've got a handle on your connection with the Dragon Slayer, you could probably reach out to your old community again. Berlin's punks could benefit from your experience. He nods. Yeah, boss, I was thinking the same thing. Maybe maybe I could give back a bit and fix some of the damage I caused in my misspent youth. After we finished dealing with the crisis in front of us, that is. It's a good thing. Good thought, anyway. I'll keep it in mind. Alright. 
Glory just sitting in here by yourself. Glory favors you with a weak smile, her expression cautious. You're suddenly aware of how very small she is. Oi, Analog, I gotta admit I've been dreading this. So, now that you know what I've done, what I am, are you here to tell me off? I wouldn't blame you if you were. Uh, no, I'm not here to tell you off. Truth be told, I wanted to check in and see how you were doing. Not great. Struggling. About how you would expect. We left off in a bla bad place l last time. I've been thinking about your story and I have a question for you. Yeah, what's that? Um... Shouldn't we do something about this brainwashing cult? Yes, I think that first all is a problem that needs solving, but it can't happen just now. Apex is down, but Claire is vulnerable. We can't take the time to deal with my issues right now. They can wait. Alright, but keep it in mind. I will. Uh, not all time for long discussion. With Apex taken care of, we can need to take... Claire's estate. There's no time for anything else. What about Firestyle? It's too late for there. Claire must know that his matrix security has gone offline. He won't wait 20 minutes before acting, let alone the 13 hours it would take for us to drive to Firestyle, raid the compound, and drive back again. We've committed ourselves. We need to see this through. So, I wonder if I... if I missed that quest. That subplot. Because, um, that sounds like a big thing. Hey, you want to go destroy the thing? Uh, no, we don't have time for that. Okay, lots of new threads. Uh, we heard the rumors about Deckers disappearing, but in the last two months I've lost at least half a dozen of my best info hunters. Anyone ever lead on what's doing the disappearing? Smart money's on some new IC. Corpse are always looking for new ways to keep their matrix doors shut tight. Really? Corpse interested in security? Truly a revelation. It's, gacking, it's a gacking matrix predator. I saw it just a couple hours ago. I was poking through a data store with clockwork, and it came out of nowhere. It was like, I don't know, a shark made out of bands of light. It flew straight through clock, and it's sw sw slotting swallowed him whole. I yanked my own data jack cable and I've been throwing up from dump shock ever since. A matrix shark, right. Shut up, Wraith. Where were you, Ruby? CW was supposed to meet me more than an hour ago, and he's never late. Sorry I'm late, bandit. Slotting IC tarred me up for a bit, but it made it, I made it out with no problems. Uh, you didn't think I'd bail on you, did you? Not possible. I saw you get swallowed. Not possible. Don't be dramatic, Ruby. I'm fine, see? CW, you almost had me worried, but you just keep on running, don't you? No need to worry, bandit. You don't think some lame-ass IC was gonna dump me, did you? Like I said, you just keep on running. Always, bandit, always. Wrong answer, Drexstain. Who the hell are you and what answer- And what have you done with clockwork? System error, thread closed. So did Apex take o- like... Devour him and take over him? And then they, uh, they used some code word, and then he failed it. Oh, that's interesting. Doesn't go along with the fact that he can devour their, all their knowledge, but okay, whatever. Still cool. The writers have it on good authority that the Lobachevsky Syndicate is eyeing shot and nest for expansion. For the good of the flux, we should keep a watchful eye on the situation. See attached files for more details. Okay, bad news for Shot and Ness, but if the Rambach is go isn't going to stop them, and I hear Surf Turf is out of the picture, well, I'm sure that there's some Poly Club out there who wants the piece of the pie. I know we've got enough of them. I know that Humanus has some presence there, but I doubt they'll fight the Russians too much. I'd say they're far more likely to form a partnership. No more posts under this thread. All out war is broken out between the Rambach and several mercenary groups. Not sure who started it, but if it matters... Not sure if it matters. If I were you, I'd stay the hell away until they finished killing each other. A 
knew that place was a powder keg, but this is a bit much. And if, has anyone made it out of there safely? Streets aren't safe at the moment. If people aren't out already, they'd better have some food and water stockpiled. The shock well and writer posted something about the Levachevsky, but I haven't been able to find any ever evidence to corroborate that. Like Jess claims, it's just the Rambach defending their turf against these free agents. Sure it is. Jorgen Kepa banking woes. Looks like there's been a gold faction bank heist in Jorgen Kepa. Unlike one of those old defunded banks still had some funds in it, apparently. <laughs> Whoever was responsible waltzed right in and transferred away a whole load of Noyan. That's not all. A pal of mine had been contracted to do some work of one of the other um, lending establishments in the area. When he went in to meet with his contact, all he found was a couple of shell casings and a troll-sized troll pole of blood. Huh, and I always assumed that banking was a boring job. Sounds pretty action-packed to me. You gotta break in a big score, what looks like a revenge killing, all that plus a steady paycheck. What more could you want? If you need me, I'll be putting in an application at my ne nearest savings and loan. Energy sources? I've got solar panels like everybody, but does anyone have experience with these mana turbine services? <laughs> mana turbines. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, but I like it. I'm off the grid, so there are some times when I need to do some light night decking or maintenance on my telescoping limbs. Is that the thing where a mage comes by and drops some juice into a generator? My buddy was telling me about them last week. The turbine spins the mana around and the charge lasts for weeks, he said. They're scam, Chummer. The mage is going to be out there with your money before you realize how much been power how much power you've actually got. You're better off powering a bike battery. Selling used custom Westman 2000s. Like it says, good condition clean. Got the turbo turbocharged kit, additional armor plating added to the front and sides. Truck is a mounted Ares auto cannon, but you'll need a rigger to operate it. No hand access. Looking for 80,000 Nuyen OBO. Nice car. Wouldn't be happen. Wouldn't happen to be any corpse looking at for it at the moment, eh? Has the PPS been triggered? Any Rex rebuild? Ari Tolstoy. Nope. All clear on that front. Nobody drive this drove this baby but me, and I don't wreck cars. The auto cannon dropped the last sucker who tried to do any damage. Okay. All right. Let's beat this game. Actually, um, I should got buy another some more Matrix stuff for Blitz. The attack was terrible analog, so much death. She shakes her head. I had not killed since I retired from running from the running the shadows not until today. But you are not here to listen to me to complain. She forces a smile. So what can I get for you? Name it and I will provide. Uh, attack. Sure. Um, uh, programs. Killer. That sounds good. Uh, shield. Uh, I've already got blaster. Oh. Uh. I wish I could look at his stats, but I can't, can I? No. Of course not. Because why would I? Uh. Or. Unless. No, I can look at. Everything that's not equipped. Uh. Alright, I can get one more. What will it be? Does minus two AP to a single target? No. Sniffer. Nah.
I'll get this one. And... Um... That'll do it. Oh, I should probably get some, some better armor too, now that I think about it. Um, where would I go for that? Not you, I don't think. What a relief it is to see you alive. Unfortunately, mother, many others were less fortunate. What happened? I know what happened. What do you suppose? Our people spend much of their time on the street trying to coax the indigent into making use of our services. His eyes well with tears. The attackers were indiscriminate with their fire. It was a bloodbath. Now, if you will excuse me, I must go. I have cremations to attend to. You don't have, uh, outfits. Oh, you do. Uh, and I've got the best one, pretty much. Okay. Plus combat, ranged combat, dodge, plus one body. I'd, I'd take the plus one body and the plus one armor. All right, I'm all set. Uh, okay. I guess I am not supposed to go to the station. Oh, the tunnel beneath the hideout. Okay. The same way I got to the hideout in the very first place. Silly me thinking the train can take you anywhere. Though it's kind of weird that our the the enemy bases are connected through tunnels. All right, let's let's go. Panzer drone, tell me about yourself. Got a grenade launcher and a minigun that does AoE damage. Interesting. Got auto repair kit and armor repairs. Um, Triggered it repairs its most recent damage. Does that mean it uses a, a repair kit or it just that's a skill? Uh I don't know. Okay. Um 120 HP. Well that oh is actually a lot. I thought we were in like the 200s. Why did I think that? Iger's obviously coming with. Um, Why doesn't anyone have armor? Just 
is it just not equipped? What's his outfit? Armor 6. Armor 7. I guess because it's a drone, it has natural armor. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to take this with. But why... Why is its strength so high? Especially compared to its quickness. Weird. It doesn't have any real skills of any kind. That's the downside. So it does big damage and it's a bit of a tank. No pun intended. Um, but also kind of not a lot of options. Glory you can come with. Blitz or Dietrich? I'd like to see his... His new weapon, or er, spells and stuff. to be all right we'll go with our standard standard uh, standard set yeah let's do it <laughs> 